everyone! Welcome to Art Business with Ness. I'm Ness and I'm a professional illustrator. Today I have a very special guest. I had the chance to interview one of my Art Business Bootcamp students, Chikako Ogawa, about her career and her experiences in my course. I am super excited to announce that the Level 2 course is now back! The doors are open as we speak and we are welcoming in new students who want to find more illustration clients and who want to take their careers to the next level. Also, for the first five days only, so between May 15th and May 20th, we have a $50 off coupon. So now is the best time to get the course. If you're interested in learning more, I will leave the link in the description below where you can go and find out. So now let's jump right into it and see what Chikako has to say. Hi Chikako, thank you so, so much for joining me today. Hi Ness, thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> So the first thing that I wanted to ask is then, can you tell us a bit about what kind of artwork you do? So um, I'm recently working as an um, editorial illustrator and I'm working for a um, local magazine and then also um, helping the uh, university uh, educational material recently. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, your work is very fun. It's very like playful and poetic and you have all of these beautiful visual metaphors. I, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, I like uh, being playful. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, uh, every, every topic inspired me to create, create something new. So I'm so excited drawing those kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just, it shows so much that you have fun when you draw. It, it shows oh, yeah. in your artwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel passion when I'm drawing this, these things, so that's great. <laughs> so where were you in your career before joining the bootcamp? Were you just starting? Did you already have a few contracts? Uh, before joining the course. Yes. So um, last year I was a Japanese teacher, but I decided to commit a uh, full-time illustrator. So I didn't have any contract or anything. I just finished the first bootcamp, uh, your bootcamp, when making portfolio, and I was ready to go. Like. Um, kind of express as an editorial artist to the world then, <laughs> yeah, and then I joined to the boot camp the second boot camp right so you got your first few contracts uh while you were in the middle of going through the level two boot camp yes, yes. that's super exciting can you tell us a little bit more about those uh, those contracts Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm following this now. But um, after I joined the bootcamp too, second bootcamp, I got few contract. So um, the first one is the um, local magazine. They asked me to draw the um, story, like a monthly they're making a new story. And then uh, they asked me to draw the uh, spot drawing uh, for uh, those each episodes. Exactly so in your market. Yeah, it's my market. <laughs> and yeah, it was so fun. Like it's um uh, I was drawing as a hobby before, but um the, in, for doing the job, I needed to research a lot and then talk to people and that um gave me a more stimulation and then also I want to do it. So I feel more passion by doing this. Yeah, then the second contract was from university. Um, they asked me to, um, uh, they are making the monthly magazines for um, university students. So they're bringing up the local news or um, university um, um, new, news about university. Yeah. So like the topic was, uh, for example, like a new bar. <laughs> <laughs> new bar. A very uh, student life. <laughs> right? And then also, um, so LGBT, uh, LGBT community in Vancouver, or um, yeah, like a new department for um, an indigenous uh, people. It seems or, like a lot of variety in that gig. It is, it is. And, but this is what I wanted as an editorial illustrator. I wanted to challenge new topic by, um, um, you know, by during working time. So I yeah. can work at the same time, but I can challenge myself. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> that's so exciting. I'm so happy yeah. for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And so now you seem to be doing really well and really on your way to becoming a full-time professional. But I wanted to ask, uh, before joining the course, what kind of things were you struggling with the most when it comes to your illustration career? What 
what was really your biggest struggle? So I really want to mention this about this bootcamp. Um, bootcamp helped me to reach out to people. Really, this mm. is the big thing. So I, before joining the bootcamp, I was really afraid to uh, send a message to people like, "Hey, I'm an illustrator. Can you It's give scary. me?" It's scary. <laughs> But um, not only the contents from the course, um, people who join the boot campers and then you as well, um, they're so supportive. They, We did that. And I did this. Like this kind of sharing was so heartwarming. And then that gave me a motivation. Like I want to do it. I, I will keep doing as well. So it, it was really good atmospheres to keep going. Really, yeah. and now that you started reaching out, do you feel like it's it's not as scary? Does it feel a bit easier now? Oh, it's super easy. Like I'm not <laughs> scared of. Really, like, when I was working for a company, the company gave me a job, so I got used to it. Like so, I I didn't like go like me 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 me. Give me a job. So. <laughs> Well, that's what I love to hear because it does get easier with time. And when we're just starting out and we're freaking out, it can seem like it will never be easy. But in just a few months, you you're now pretty comfortable with this. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> The course really gives gives me a new insight or a feeling like uh, kind of safe mm -hmm. to challenge. Awesome. But uh, this feeling comes from knowledge as well. So from the course. I still need to review everything, really. Because... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in luck because, like, I'm editing the lessons right now, and I'm taking out a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, just parts where we're, it was chatty, or <laughs> so it's gonna be. It's gonna be shorter to rewatch everything and get just to the good information, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I, I cut it up into smaller parts as well. So for rewatching, it's gonna be much easier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, but I really like to be in a live lesson because I feel a little bit more interactive. So the mm -hmm. first camp I was watching the recorded one, it was really like a, a just point and that was really good to watch. But also like, um, the boot camp too, I was in a live session and I, I, I feel like a, I feel like good vibe from the I lesson. No, it's like a summer <laughs> camp. I miss it already. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we have to do the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what was your biggest uh, aha moment from the course, or or your uh, favorite part from the course? Ooh, wow! This is tough to pick up one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was there like a light bulb moment where you were like, "Oh, I never thought about that," or something like that? Oh, there are a lot, really, but. <laughs> I would say that uh, you taught me how to protect ourselves as a freelance illustrator. Like, for example, the price part as well, price part, and then also um, law, um, the pr um, contracts. Yeah, contracts. Contract part was really a hard moment for me. Like uh, your your way was very independent artist. Like not like, oh, art director, could you tell me the way or to go? So <laughs> I really feel like I'm being prepared for kind of being an equal stance. Yeah. yeah that, that part was really good from the boot camp, a second boot camp, really. I was kind of, I was all kind of feeling like I want to beg to <laughs> people who give me a job. So because it was kind of low self-esteem, this part as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, your course gave me like, a, okay, I want to be independent and then strong artist mm. to fight for it. So yeah, it's kind of, you give me some weapons or <laughs> support <laughs> to me. <laughs> I love to hear that because you have so much to bring to a company as an artist. You really shouldn't be in a position to have to beg for anything. And I'm glad that you're feeling more uh, powerful and confident now. Yeah, the part we want to focus on drawing, right? So this kind of part <laughs> is really overwhelming if you don't know or if you don't have any experience, really. <laughs> yeah. All right. And the last question I had was, did you feel like you got enough value for your money? Super, super. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess yeah. I was just, phew. <laughs> just making sure. And so can you tell us where we can find you online, your website, your Instagram, all of those things? 
Oh, so uh, you can find me um, chikakoogawa.com for my personal website. And then uh, I have an Instagram account, chik um, chika underline art underline gallery. So chika art gallery. Okay, with the two underscores. All right. <laughs> um, um, I should change. I should change. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> and if I put a clip um, on the page, then I'll just uh, put your name with a link. So they can just mm. click it. So it will be oh, easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again so much.